You obviously said that you guys didn't really mesh. Um, don't you feel like, though, you owe him a little something for oh, the success? I, I respect the hell out of Coach Coughlin. I would give him credit for making me focus on the little things. But ultimately, success or failure, uh, life is about how you treat people. Yeah. And he didn't treat us right most of the time. And in fact, we got into a major argument uh, right before I retired, actually. Um, we were playing the Jacksonville Jaguars on a Monday night foot football game. And we threw the ball 60-something times. It was one of Eli's worst games in his early career. And I remember I said something very minute, um, like, football's not complicated. We have a good running attack, hand the ball off. It forced him to have to reassign Jim Huffnagel, who was our offensive coordinator. And ultimately, uh, Jim left the team, and Kevin Gilbride took over as offensive coordinator. And uh, he came in the next day with all the newspaper articles quoting me and threw them in my face. And we got into an FU match for about 30 minutes. And ultimately, I, I, I stormed out of the facility, and he, and, he, and he called up to me, and he's like, Tiki, are we all right? I said, we're all right as long as you're telling us that we're trying to win and not make 10 the man, meaning Eli, right. the man. He wasn't ready to be the man. Um, and he said, we're, we're, we're all right. And so, obviously, the next couple of weeks, we won. We had that Washington Redskins game, which put us into the playoffs. Uh, we ultimately lost in the playoffs to the Philadelphia yeah, Eagles. Yeah. But, I mean, that, that was when we started to bat heads, like really bat heads.